Hey everybody, Diamonds by Tita here. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by. Um, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a whipping chat. I'm gonna give you some um, life updates, uh, my ramblings and squirrel thoughts and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, this is good. So I have started War Pony. Again, it's just one little section here. Um, and I didn't realize it, but this has the new cover sheet, the new perforated cover sheet um, that you can tear. <coughs> Excuse me. And I didn't know that at first. So um, everything else down through here will be, I'll be able to tear. And then where is it at? Over here. So I got to get this section here done and then I'll be ready to tear a, a, a section off and then I'll show you how. Um, I am working on symbol S and it is this gorgeous blue. Whoops, where am I at? Where am I at? There I am. And I'm just working on uh, my pretty pen. I think this came from Amazon, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And, <coughs> oh, my allergies are so bad, so sorry. And then I am just working with this tray. I don't know where I got this one at either. I think it may have come with one of the suitcases maybe. I'm not certain, but you can see how pretty um, the Diamond Art Club drills are. Let's see if I can get that in focus better. There we go. Isn't that so much, isn't that just really pretty? Oop. I'm using a tripod, so I'm trying to get used to that. And then I'm wearing my pretty Timu bracelet. Isn't that pretty? I got that last summer and I never wore it. Isn't that pretty? I really like it. And it's got a magnet clasp over here. So it's really easy for me to put on. So I didn't even thank you guys for coming really. So thank you. Um, if you're returning, um, you know, welcome back. I'm glad that you are here. And um, if you are brand new, uh, welcome. I hope you enjoy the content. Um, and if you guys have not subscribed, there is a little red button down here somewhere in the lower right hand side. And you can just click on that button and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't visited my Facebook page, um, that is Diamonds by Tita, um, please come over and visit it. Boy, I hope this isn't going to be shaking too much. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, the Facebook group, group, man, it is really growing. I don't even know where we're at. I know we're over 600, 650 maybe, something like that. Um, and I think I've told you before, for anybody that's new, um, for the month of March, we're doing um, just an event that we're doing together. It's called Gorgeous in Green. And that is any diamond painting or any craft, because my Facebook page is for um, any craft, doesn't matter what it is, whether it's knitting, crocheting, latch hook, coloring, um, candle making, card making. What am I missing, guys? I'm probably missing a whole bunch of other stuff. I can't remember. Um, so pretty much any craft, right? So is any craft that has green in it. So please come on over. I'm gonna link my Diamonds by Tita page up there for you. And I'm trying to make this straight, but as you can see, I'm not super, my rows are not super straight right now. And how I straighten them, just so that you can see, I just kind of take my straightener and go and just run it down. I just run it down so I can get it all straight. I try to do this as I go, um, but that's kind of what I do, so you can kind of see it. And I've got a couple of these metal straighteners. I think these metal straighteners work better than um, the plastic ones that you get with the, uh, let me see, do I have one here? Hang on a second, I can show you. I think I've got one, I do. I think they work better than these. I don't know. That's just me. 
Tell me, how, how do you guys straighten it? Let me know. Um, okay, so uh, big news. Um, my, my beautiful, beautiful um, family member that I know she doesn't want her name given out, so that's why I'm saying family member or my loved one. Um, you guys have been praying for her because she has breast cancer and it's a rare and very aggressive form of breast cancer. And uh, she had her surgery today. They were doing, um, I think the procedure is called a lumpectomy. Um, so they removed the cancer and they also remove um, a pretty large margin of healthy tissue as well because they want to make certain they get all of the cancer um, and they also removed only one lymph node uh, only one could have been maybe suspicious um, so that was removed and it's going to go to the lab along with um, the cancer portion too because they're going to be doing genetic testing on it but the good news and praise God and thank you for your prayers thank you for all your positive thoughts and vibes because the surgery went um, much easier than what the doctor thought um, it wasn't as extensive as the doctor thought um, it, it was really good uh, they thought they were going to remove three lymph nodes they only removed the one the mass was not as large as what she thought. Um, she didn't have to make as big of an incision, so it's not gonna hurt as much to recover. So all of that is like really, really awesome news. So thank you so much for that. Um, I left the hospital and she was still in recovery because um, I couldn't go down there. Plus, I don't know if she would want me down there um right now um but her husband um was so relieved and he tends to always go to worst case scenario so having like a, just really really good news i think his blood pressure went down <laughs> um a lot and um yeah he could breathe this sigh of relief so thank you very very much i'll keep you updated as far as what treatment is going to be we're hoping it will only be three weeks of very um, mild radiation and to where she doesn't even have to have chemo that is what we're really really hoping for so that is what we're doing now i'll show you that if i turn off my um my light pad for a second let me turn this off it looks a whole lot better doesn't that look better i know with the light pad on you can see kind of how crooked my lines are and i know i need to be a little bit straighter um but with it turned off it does not look awesome actually i can probably work with it turned off this is such a fun canvas i'm sorry i'm really going from a total total squirrel thought you know, talking about her surgery um, and treatment. Um, I guess I need to kind of finish up on that, but you know, I, I will keep you posted and let you know how things are going. And um, I'll know more probably in a week or so after all the labs come back. Okay, now I can talk about this great paint. This painting is already, I can already tell, this is so much fun already. Um, it reminds me a lot of my Gypsy Violet. If you remember that painting, that is my horse with, um, with the purple in it. That's why they call it Gypsy Violet. I'll stick, try to stick a picture up here somewhere so that you can see it. Um, but I just love Diamond Art Club and their drills, their drills are so sparkly. I don't, I mean, you can see just the sparkle in this, you know, poor light right now. It's so, so gorgeous. I love it. I'm so excited. And if you guys don't know, or if you're new, um, my sister picked out this painting. 
yeah, she picked out this painting and um, for her birthday, that was in January, and I have not started it, so I needed to start it along with all my other paintings. So I've got probably too many whips going at a time, but that's just kind of how it is. But this one's fun. And um, let's see, that was the big news. That was the big news. Um, let's see, what else? Can I talk about? I did a little grocery shopping the day, was it yesterday or the day before? I think it was yesterday. Um, I did the Walmart Plus and I ordered online. I couldn't sleep. I was like one in the morning and I decided, okay, I'm gonna do my, my grocery shopping and I um, <laughs> got everything ordered and they delivered it by like eight in the morning. Um, it just it just magically appears at my doorstep, which is wonderful. I'd love that. And um, what else? I mean, and I didn't get too much. I mean, gosh, anything anymore, even if it's just a few items, it's like fifty dollars or something. And I'm drinking some. Um, cream soda. I know this is in my coffee cup, but um, it's a Yeti, so it's going to keep things hot and cold, and it will keep this um, soda cold for me as I'm doing this whip and chat. So I did that, and I went over on my way home. I went over to um, Hobby Lobby. They had all of their diamond paintings 40% off, uh, however, they're the same old, same old ones that they've had, um, and there wasn't really anything new or anything that I really wanted, so I didn't buy any diamond paintings. Um, I did end up getting a candle. I'll show that to you guys, too. And I got a um, devotional that was on sale by uh, Dr. David Jeremiah. I don't know if you ever listened to him. Um, he's a preacher from Shadow Mountain Church. Um, and I enjoy his preaching and I I got his devotional and I'll show you that. And I got a Promises of God book. And uh, that, that was it of my shopping trip. Um, and the candle, I'm kind of surprised at what I got. Um, I don't burn candles real often, um, but sometimes I do. And I usually end up getting a lot of like, like cinnamon and um, oh, I don't know, pumpkin and vanilla or um, flowery ones. I like a lot of the florals. Um, and this one, let me show it to you. Hang on a second. Let me go get it. If I don't jiggle the table too much. Hang on just a second here. And it smells really good. Hang on just a second. I am coming, 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 coming. Okay, one second here. Actually, you can even see the flame that's going. But this one is called, it's called Madagascar Vanilla and Cedar. It doesn't wanna focus. Come on, focus. I don't know why it doesn't wanna, oh, there we go. Now it's gonna focus. So it kind of has, um, with the cedar in it, it kind of has a little bit more of a masculine scent. I don't know, maybe like a man's cologne kind of. Um, I don't know, it's very clean. Um, I really like it. I like it a lot. Um, so that was my candle that I got. And then, um, 
show you really quick on this one. Um, this is my, this was the devotional that I got. It's just a daily devotional. Let me see if I can bring this out just a little bit. Why doesn't my camera want to work? There we go. Um, yeah, so it's uh, 365 daily devotions, walking with God. And it just, there's a just a little teeny, you know, um, just a short couple paragraphs that you would read. And I like it, I know this is weird, but I like it because um, it's big. I can look at look at the the letters. They're actually really pretty big. Um, so I really like that. I was really happy with that. And then um, I got um, this is just a little um, God's Promises book, and it it lists all the different promises you know that God that God has in the Bible, which I really love you know, for strength or for courage or um, sufficiency, um, you know, stewardship, in doubt about God, fear. I mean, I always, I, I experience fear. So that was kind of, that was, I, it, they were all on sale. It was like a, I think they were 40% off, I think. Like, these are some of my very, very favorite verses. Um, this is talking about everything. Let's see, will it, there we go. Um, like, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Um, so I love that verse. So anyway, those were the couple things that I bought. I just thought I'd share that with you. Let me put that off to the side and then we're gonna go back to my diamond painting because this diamond painting is a lot of fun. There, now it's gonna focus. And I will bring this in. There we go, we'll bring it in a little bit. Boy, I tell you, the weather, I'm switching gears again from shopping to the weather. It's supposed to be about 75 or 76 today. Um, right now, I mean, I've got the window open um, cause I know the dog is going to probably want to go outside at some point cause she was alone, um, all morning long. Um, anyway, severe clear it, yeah, it, it is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'll put a picture up here somewhere if I remember, um, from my drive down the hospital, um, where my loved one had surgery, um, was down in a neighboring town, and oh, the the hills were just bright green. It was so gorgeous, and I snapped a picture, and I'll put that up there so that you can see it. Um, and the sunset last night, oh my word. Again, it was so clear. I missed probably the most beautiful part of the sunset last night. Um, but the sky was so pink. Um, it was stunning. I'm going to try to go out again tonight and see if I can go out early enough to see all the sunset. So that was pretty. So we're having really nice weather, although I hear that rain is coming, which is good because then I don't need to water the grass because it's going to be that time I have to start watering again and pulling weeds. Um, I'm hoping the gardener will just put the weed killer on it for me because I, I hate pulling weeds. Yard work's not my favorite. So that was our weather. And... Um, Picking up my granddaughter from school today and taking her home. And I'm going to try to do, oh, let me tell you, picking up, picking up high schoolers, let me tell you, the kids that drive at the school, 
I don't know if they should have their driver's license. They drive crazy. Sorry, I just had to take a sip of my of my soda there. Um, yeah, they drive too fast. They dart in and out of traffic. And then the traffic is backed up forever. Um, but it's worth it because I get to see her and I get to chat with her a little bit, which is kind of nice. Um, so yeah, I get, a, you know, 15 minutes in the car and to catch up a little bit, which is good. And um, then the rest of the afternoon, I'm hoping that I can get a lot of videos filmed. I've got a lot of content I need to show you. I mean, I've got a completion. It was completed, I don't know, four or five days ago. I haven't even had a chance to film it or show it to you guys. Um, I actually purchased the frame at, I think, Goodwill. So that's going to be fun for you guys to see. And so, well, yeah, I've got that to film. Um, I think I've got a couple PR packs to film. Um, I've got a Diamond Art Club new painting that I want to show you guys. Oh, there's a dog. She's been outside this whole time. Well, hi. You staying outside? You coming in? What are you doing? You want to say hi to everybody? You can come over here. Where are you going? Oh, she's under the the table in her bed. Otherwise, I'd pick her up and show you. Okay, we're getting this right along. That's all sticky up there too. It's all, so I gotta do all of those S's. I got a lot of S's to do. Okay, I'm gonna pour a little bit more in here. And I'm really enjoying working with the blue. You know, I work so much with pinks and purples and you know, those kind of colors. Um, it's really kind of refreshing to be working on a different color. Oh, can you hear her getting a big long drink? She must have got hot outside. Yeah, she must have gotten hot outside. Uh, tonight, I am gonna fix chicken. I bought some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So I'm going to do that. And I don't know what I'm gonna have with it. I've got some, got some fresh broccoli and cauliflower and carrots, you know, the, the cut up kind that you get in the, the bags. So I think I might um, make that. You know, I keep saying, all the time, I'm gonna eat better, I'm gonna eat healthier, but I think I really need to eat healthier. It is so hard, isn't it? It is just hard, especially I think when you get addicted to the carbohydrates and to sugar, sugar is so addicting. I, um, I, I know I'm addicted to it. So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to eat better. Oop, I got a dog here. I've got little plastic tweezers. I don't have my little metal ones handy. Can I get it with the plastic one? I don't know. I don't think so. I think I need my Diamond Art Club ones. Do I have a pair in here? Uh, I don't think so. I think they're all in the craft room. Oh, nope, I got one. 
It's funny, I've got several workstations. Do you guys have several workstations? Um, I've got, you know, my craft room and I'm working on Dreamer D Designs um, Twilight Flight in there. Because that work, that desk holds a big painting. And then now War Pony will be out here in the uh, dining room table. And then I have a small 30 by 40 square. You know, the cat that I got, it was the cat with the green eyes and all the flowers around it that's in square. And it's the first budget-friendly square that I've done. And I tell you, I am actually um, really very pleasantly surprised with it. Um, I'm not getting any popping drills. The only thing that was bad is the three tins came with round and square drills mixed. Um, I emailed the company. I have not got a response yet. So if I don't have enough drills, I'm gonna to need to find some black 310 squares somewhere. And I don't have a lot of black. I don't do a lot of paintings with the dark colors. Um, but we'll see. So that's kind of what I am working on. And then I think I might wanna start a, um, a little partial because those are kind of fun to do because they're so quick. You know, they're really quick. They give you that sense of accomplishment. Plus, you know, to be honest, I really like, I really like how sparkly they are. Um, I love the, the crystals. Um, I love the special shape drills. I love all of that. Um, I really enjoy that a lot. So that's where I'm at with that. Oh, and the dog is still outside. Isn't that fun? You went back out? Did you go back out? What are you doing? Come over here. Come here. You want to say hi? Come here. Will you come over here? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come over here. Come here. Well, let me see if I can get her for you guys. Hi, baby. Come here. Come here. I don't know if she'll do it or not. Oh. Can you put your head in here? Can you put your head in here? Put your head in here. Oh, there's a paw. Oh, there's a nose. <laughs> I don't know if I can get her all in. Hang on. I don't think I can do it. There's a paw. That don't stick on there. Oh, there's her little nose. Oh, she's putting a paw on. Oh, I can't get her in there. I, I would need to really pull the camera out. Anyway. I'll see if she goes outside and I'll take a picture and then I'll put something up here so you can see her. Cause she's such a sweetie. Aren't you? You smell like outside, like you've been laying in the sun. I tell you, you know what's really funny? <clears throat> I don't know why dogs do this. If you have a dog, let me know if your dog does this. It's a hundred degrees outside and they go and she lays on the hot cement and she'll lay there for like a long time. And it's like, doesn't that burn you? Um, but she loves it. My sister's dog too. She's black, big black dog. And, um, lays out in the hot cement too, when it's hot outside. I don't know. Maybe it warms their bones or something. I don't know. So does your dogs do that? Yeah, that's kind of interesting. I know when I had cats, they always sun themselves. Um, they'd always, you know, we, I didn't let them go outside because we lived on a, we lived on a pretty busy street right now. And I was too worried. And before it was a busy street, when it wasn't a busy street, we had a lot of wildlife. There was uh, coyotes and even cougars and, um, People that let their cats outside often became dinner for the coyotes. So anyway, they would um, lay in the sun when they came when it came in the window, 
and they would lay in the sun. Um, let's see, what else? Not much else. You know, I've been kind of thinking, this is my, my squirrel thought of what I'm thinking. I'm trying to think about like going on a vacation or a trip. It just can't be very expensive. So I'm not thinking about places to go. I thought maybe, you know, I could do a cruise to Mexico, you know, cause I could take, I could go out of port of um, San Francisco or, you know, I could fly down to LA or something like that. I mean, I'd love to go like to the Mediterranean or, um, you know, different places like that, but that's like way out of budget. I can't afford that. I don't know, maybe a day trip somewhere. Maybe I can go over the coast to the beach. I mean, the Oregon beach is much different than like the California beach. It's a lot rockier. Um, it's colder, I think, too. And I've never been to the East Coast. I've never you know, seen the Atlantic Ocean. I would love to. I'd love to put my feet in the Atlantic Ocean. Um, or, you know, I've never, you know, seen the Gulf of Mexico or, you know, anything like that. It's only been the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, that's all that I've done. I always lived on the, the West Coast, except for a period of time when I lived in Colorado. Colorado's a beautiful state, too. I think there's beauty in, you know, every state. You know, wherever you live, there is beauty. I mean, in Oregon, of course, we have, you know, lots of forests and it's green with lots of trees, of course. But then, you know, we have the forest fires. And I tell you, I am, I am just so petrified of fire now. I mean, I, I keep praying that we continue to have rain um, so we have enough water and that hopefully the forest fires won't be so bad. Um, oops. Oops, let me try this again. I'm dropping drills all over. Oh, come on. Why won't you pick up? There we go. Got it. Um, like the other day, I was driving to another city for work. And oh, there's another, there's another Gracie hair. Let's see if I can get it. Oops, am I getting it? Maybe I'm just seeing things. Yeah, maybe I'm just seeing things. Anyway, I saw this little plume of smoke. I mean, it was just this little plume of smoke. And I tell you, my heart dropped. I thought, oh my God, what I was thinking in my head was, I gotta call 911. It's gonna be the start of another you know, forest fire. And then I, you know, I had to calm myself down and go, hey, we're still barely spring. It's still wet. Someone's probably just burning trash because they're allowed to burn trash right now um, because the fire risk is very, very low. But that was just, I mean, just triggering for me um, because, again, a couple years ago, literally almost a whole town was wiped out. I think it was 3,000, something like that, homes and businesses. And we still have people that are not, that aren't in a home yet, you know, because of it. So fire, fire scares me. It definitely 
definitely scares me, but every area there's, there's natural stuff, whether it's tornadoes or hurricanes or, um, uh, yeah, tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes, um, or wildfires, um, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. And then we also have in this area, because we're in the ring of fire, um, we've got um, volcanoes all around us too. Now, mind you, they're dormant. They're not active, but at some point they could become active. Or I, I guess some point they will. So yeah, we got volcanoes. So that is that. Oh goodness, guys, it's 35 minutes I've been yakking with you. Um, I think I'm probably gonna call that good for right now. I wanted just to hop on, just to say hi, tell you I'm working on, on this. It's, it's gonna be just beautiful. Isn't this gonna be pretty? I am, I am so happy about it. Um, I love it. I love the drills. Oh my gosh, Diamond Art Club drills are, they're just stunning. They are so shiny. They are all the same shape. I mean, I haven't, I'm, I've run into a couple trash drills, but really, I mean, I think it was one or two that I found in here, which I don't think it's all that bad right now. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day um, or evening, you know, wherever you are at and whatever time zone you're at. Um, I'm going to try to remember to put up the pictures that I said I was going to put up. And um, yeah, take care. Remember, you're perfect exactly as you are. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. And do one thing today that your future self is going to thank you for. Um, and uh, again, I want to really, really extend my thanks once again to you guys uh, for praying for my loved one, for, you know, with her breast cancer. I'm so, so grateful. I mean, God is good. He answers prayers. Um, yeah, thank you so much. And um, I know that um, uh, her and her husband are very grateful because I did tell them, I said, there's people from all over the world praying for you. Um, God's going to hear these prayers. So again, thank you very, very much. Alrighty, guys, take care. I'm going to get this put up in just a minute and um, I will talk to you soon. Okay. Bye everybody.